The latest now in Jesse Smollett. He's free on $100,000 bail after being charged for staging his own attack. Smollett declared his innocence overnight on the set of Empire, ABC's Eva Pilgrim in Chicago with the latest. Good morning, Eva. George, Jesse Smollett left court and went back to work, returning to the set of Empire where they are filming the upcoming season. We are told that he gave a short speech to his fellow cast and crew. Jesse Smollett not backing down this morning, denying any wrongdoing. The embattled actor seen heading directly to the set of Empire to film scenes after leaving court on felony charges, including one count of disorderly conduct for filing a false police report. Authorities claiming Smollett was lying when he said he was the victim of a homophobic and racist attack, a story he told ABC News last week. He said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. So I punched his ass back. I noticed the rope around my neck and I started screaming. Why would anyone, especially an African-American man, use the symbolism of a noose to make false accusations? Outrage Chicago authorities How detailing what they call an elaborate lie that took so weeks shared. of planning, That's claiming so that first Smollett sent this homophobic and racist letter to himself in an attempt to garner attention. When that didn't work, authorities say Smollett paid brothers Abel and Ola Osendero $3,500 in the form of a personal check. And why? This stunt was orchestrated by Smollett because he was dissatisfied with his salary. That salary, while not public, is reportedly in the ballpark of $100,000 per episode, according to a source familiar with his deal. The brothers turning out to be the same men in the surveillance video released days after the alleged attack. Jussie identifying them in this ABC interview. I don't, I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's them. Never did. It was this admission, authorities say, confirmed their suspicions. He identified who those two individuals were. You know, we knew that then, but he didn't know that we knew. But um, yeah, he helped us out when he identified them. Prosecutors also say they have obtained messages that detail the relationship between the men and the actor, with one of the brothers allegedly providing the drug ecstasy to Smollett on at least one other occasion. Overnight, confusion and outrage from those who initially supported Smollett, including movie and TV mogul Tyler Perry, writing on Facebook, I'm lost for words, adding that he is praying for Smollett and his family. This publicity stunt was a scar that Chicago didn't earn and certainly didn't deserve. Now, Smollett's team maintaining his innocence, releasing a statement saying Mr. Smollett feels betrayed by a system that apparently wants to skip due process and proceed directly to sentencing. George. Kiva, thanks for bringing our senior legal correspondent, Sonny Hassan, for more uh, on this. The lawyers have been in talks with the police on Wednesday night, clearly fighting right now. But what could a defense look like here? You know, I think uh, Jesse has certainly been tried in the court of public opinion because this case has become so public and so big. And so if you are defended by someone like Mark Garagos, my good friend, uh, I think you have to take on public opinion. And that's why we're seeing these defense attorneys making these kinds of statements. And so I think we're going to see more of that but, but, kind but they're of not just taking on, they're not just taking on public opinion. They're taking on a boatload of, of evidence right there. The That's checks, right. the testimony, the pictures. And, and we're going to see more of that. I think we're going to see them attacking the police department. I think we're going to see the defense attorneys attacking the evidence. Um, I, I, and, and I think that they have to do that because they only have three options, right? They either go to trial, they either strike a, a deal, or they try to change the current trend, which is everybody feels that he is guilty. I, I get what you're saying about attacking the evidence, but, but what do you attack? I mean, there's a check. Yes. There's pictures of the guys buying the rope. There's phone calls. Says the police department. And the Chicago Police Department has notoriously had a lot of issues. And so from the defense perspective, they are going to attack, attack, attack. Because, again, Jesse Smollett is still entitled to the presumption of innocence. You are innocent in this country until proven guilty. I think that is what the defense is going to do in this case. We'll be watching for the evidence. Thanks very much. Thanks. And on Monday, Robin is going to have an exclusive interview with the superintendent we saw right there at the Chicago Police Department, Eddie Johnson. Cecilia, looking forward to that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.